Everybody here wishes your parents swing just a little deeper into the gene pool, Tommy. Just a, little, just a couple strokes. We have a very special guest. Let's put our hands together for Ann Van Epps, everybody. <laughs> You guys, I don't know if you can tell by what I'm wearing, but I am actually a cat mom. Uh, I have a fluffy cat named Lucia, and I was holding her like a baby. And she was right next to my breast, and I was like, should I just go for it, or? <laughs> the pandemic was on. Um, so you guys, uh, I went to Target recently because I wanted to treat myself. So I picked up a pregnancy test and a four pack of socks. And when I got home, I was peeing on a stick and I realized it was actually a three pack of socks. So I just feel really egypt, you know, like I really want that extra pair. Um, but yeah, basically all last month I uh, thought I was pregnant and I was like kind of excited to be a sexy little mommy, uh, spelled M-O-M-M-Y, not the Spanish way. Um, and I just like, you know, I finally have a use for my spare room, right? The baby. Um, and I was gonna like paint the walls a gender neutral oatmeal, cause I'm like woke or whatever. Um, initially I told my friend, I was like, yeah, I took a birth control test and he was like, do you mean a pregnancy test? And I was like, what's the difference? Um, so about a year and a half ago, um, I went to my doctor and she was like crying for me and she's like, Anne, I'm so sorry. It's gonna be really hard for you to get pregnant if you stay with your boyfriend who's in the closet. Um, <laughs> so over the summer, I, I broke up with him, okay, uh, first, okay. And then over the summer, I went to LA and I had sex with a black guy for the first time. <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, and I just felt instantly inseminated. Um, <laughs> Because it is true what they say about, you know, black guys. So, yeah, big one. Um, but yeah, I, so I don't know if they always look like this. Uh, maybe uh, you can get your insight, but, uh, sorry, I, I, okay. Um, but this one was like, the shaft was like dark black, and then the head, like the mushroom cap was a lighter brown. <laughs> and then like the underbelly of the mushroom cap was pink, and then the like the rim, of the mushroom cap was also pink, and that was surprising. And I don't know, I just wondered if they're always like that, or like, if somebody wants to show me later, or just tell me, I don't, I don't know. He doesn't want to make eye contact with me, but. Um, you're like lighter skin, so I don't know if it would be applicable. Um, but yeah, I was just thinking about it, like this is when I still thought I was pregnant, like if I have a son, he's gonna be at least 50% black, right? Um, and like what if my son also has a big one, right, while he's a baby, and like when he's coming out of my body, like shooting out of my birth canal, am I gonna be aroused by my own baby's big one? <laughs> I don't, nobody ever thought that before. That was just like my first thought. Okay, you guys, it's fine. Um, you guys want to hear a fun fact about childbirth, or do you guys want to hear a fun fact? Um, it's one that like ruined a friendship. So jokes on me, I guess. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, Basically, when you have your baby, it doesn't matter who you are, right? Rich, poor, the queen, or whatever, like, you're gonna shit yourself. Like, that's just part of it. And I told this to my pregnant friend. She's like, no, and that's not gonna be me. And I'm like, well, no, it is actually. Um, the nurse is gonna lie to you. Like, you're gonna shit yourself. Um, but that's why you feel, like, so empty and free and light after you have the baby, right? Like, you're free in the front and in the back. It just all comes out. And then, you know, you don't poop again for like a week, um, and you also have like this creature that you have to take care of for the rest of your life. So, um, that's pretty cool. I guess like they look up to you, which is great, because they have no choice. Um, like they're your friend, best friend or whatever. Um, 
So yeah, uh, did you do you guys like animal videos or you're into animal videos? Do you like animal videos? No. Okay, I'm gonna just say say it anyway. But um, yeah, I saw this animal video where there's this animal, right, that's like crouched down on the ground and he like rises up out of the mist and he's just got like really powerful hind legs and like a really muscular back and uh, just like this chiseled jawline and like really beautiful auburn fur and just like these cum gutters which are muscles that make a arrow down to this area and I was like oh my god I am sexually attracted to a male kangaroo <laughs> Whoops, like, I would totally have his, I mean, R or equals mutant baby <laughs> carrying around in my pouch, is what I have to call it now, because I've acclimated to their tribe. Um, I know bestiality isn't cool yet, but I don't know, are there any dog owners in here? Um, have you guys ever been to a dog park before? It's a little creepy, right? That's <laughs> creepy. Um... But yeah, I don't know. Have you have you guys ever seen this? It's like um, a king, male kangaroo stands in a pool of water, okay, and with just his head popped out, and then he lures animals and humans into the water. And once you get there, you're like, what do I do? He pushes your head down under the water because he wants a blowjob, <laughs> and because his penis isn't a snorkel, you just die. But I was like, what a way to go, right? Like, I don't know, have you guys ever read an obituary before? Um, it's, have you, it's, it's like really boring, it's like loving mother, loving wife, right? I don't care, I wanna know how the person died, right? So I want my obituary to say that I, um, it'd be, it would be like Ann Van Epps, right? That's my name, um, die doing what she loves, Giving a kangaroo, sorry, giving a hot kangaroo a blowjob <laughs> under the water. Um, that would be fun, right? I just feel like there's a market for obituary writing. If anybody here writes for the paper, like you could just start doing, tell, saying how people died, even if it's made up. And nobody would know at first because nobody reads the paper. So it's making a comeback. Have you guys seen a lot of people reading papers now? Do you guys read the papers or? <laughs> and that's everybody.